Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is still Saturday night, May 11th, 2024. I'm the Drunk Pokeroo. Tis beer time. It is uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. It's still, it's it's okay out. It's cool. You know, I got the sweater on. We can get the fire pit going maybe if we weren't so lazy. Um, probably going to go back inside, watch some of the Ranger game, whatever. I don't know. Without the Leafs, I kind of lost for a little bit. I kind of tune out for a week or so of hockey, and then I go back at it hard. But um, from a trip yesterday to Turn Moon, Turn Moon, celebrating their fourth anniversary. we got a couple anniversaries coming up this week. Uh, Merritt turning seven. Very exciting. That's going to be tomorrow. We're going to talk about that. But for now, I'm going to tell somebody to talk to with Chris. One of the owners there at uh, Third Moon, we were talking about these beers. And he says, you know, when we release these beers, they're ready to go. You don't need to age them anymore. And I'm like, I know, I know. You know, we put them in the cellar and we save them for a special occasion. And we kind of laughed a little bit because, you know, my stance on that. And I, I, I seriously, I think I need to write something about this or something. I got a lot of thoughts going on. I got a lot of thoughts going on in my brain compartments um, about that. Like, are we going to be the generation that when we pass on to the great tap room in the sky that we leave behind all this amazing beer that we were saving for a special occasion i don't know who you are maybe you have a reasonable seller you know 20 30 bottles whatever which i think is fairly reasonable you know and you're drinking them within the year two years whatever if you got hundreds of bottles hundreds that you're saving for a special occasion or 50 60 80 how many special occasions do you think you're going to have in your life that you can have that, that, that you're going to break those out. Because at some point it stops being saving and it starts becoming hoarding. And it starts becoming like, oh, I can't drink that yet. Oh, I can't drink that yet. Oh, I can't drink that yet. So I'm trying to break that cycle too. I'm not perfect. I don't. I save beers too all the time. And I'm a dumbass. You know, like I save stuff and it goes bad sometimes. The guy who makes great beer telling you that the beers are ready to drink now. That's why we're releasing them. The reason to drink them on its own, and like I keep saying, and I, I need to live in this myself, I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not making fun of anybody. you got to do what you got to do. If you believe you're going to have that many special occasions, fucking great, man. I don't know. I don't see it, but sure. Be personally, I don't know. So I start drinking my damn beers. Drink your damn beers. Drink the cellar. Don't let the cellar happen. Save a couple, sure. I save one for a year, you know, that, that's a... Ah. Special occasion. Let the beer make the day special, I keep saying. Anyways, what are you drinking? Oh, before I forget, in a collaboration with Rorschach for their fourth birthday, comes Barrel Age Malevolent Bestowed, which is an imperial stout aged in Basil Hayden toast bourbon barrels and uh, apple brandy barrels with maple syrup, caramel, and cinnamon, uh, 13% ABV. So this is a blend of apple brandy barrel and bourbon barrel and some adjunct added, and I'm all for it part of their anniversary pack there was only 170 190 of these like it sold out in like 30 40 seconds like it's insane it's insane i know these guys have such a following and like i always say it ain't hype if you can do it right if you when you hear people call hype hype is the toronto maple leafs core four it's hype because they ain't done it but turd moon's been doing it for four years so let's get into it cheers my friends drink the cellar Oh, baby. Like, I'm about to get out my chair and just walk off into the goddamn forest now because what the hell, man? So good. So rich. But it's nothing is overpowering. So listen, a lot of people, these the busy stouts, kitchen sink stouts, they can, and they can be very poorly executed. This somehow comes across as an absolutely crushable dessert beer at 13%. It is tasty. That kind of toasty, sweet chocolate vanilla. Do you know how expensive vanilla and cinnamon are? Do you have any concept of how it's... They are so expensive. The good stuff. Oh, my God. It's like candy. It's like candy. The bourbon is there beautifully. A nice boozy finish on this. Chocolatey, maple syrupy, but not cloying. And that's one of the biggest things. Don't make a cloying beer. You tell me all these flavors there. I want them all, but I still want to taste like I want it to taste like what you tell me. It's a bourbon barrel age, you know, an apple brandy, and you get that. You get that apple cinnamon French toast. 
like, I'm just going to wander off now. I'm gonna wa- they're going to be missing posters of me. Put them on beer cans because the only way my friends are going to be able to find me. Because uh, wh- where am I going next? Like, I got two more barrel-aged beers sitting there, you know, and I got a bunch of other IPAs sitting there, and I don't even know what's going on anymore because this is fantastic. I love it. So there, see, that was the decision I made tonight, right? To follow Chris's advice, the beer's ready to drink now. Drink the goddamn beer, right? How many occasions do you have left? You know what? Let the beer make the day special. And it changes everything, man. It can change everything. It can change the world, Bill, Bill Murray said in Scrooge. <laughs> or how about Rocky? I can change, and you can change. Everybody can change. Break the locks in the cellar. Let's start drinking this goddamn beer and enjoying life. Here for a good time, not a long time. You ain't know when your last breath gonna be. You don't wanna walk out of this world. Leave behind a bunch of beer. And people don't even know. People don't even know what to do with it. But at least put it in your will. Right? Like, put it in your will. At least. All right? Poke loves you. Drink your damn beers. Have a great Saturday night. Mine's off to a hell of a start. Cheers. Sweet baby Jesus. Like, it's dessert. 13% dessert, but dessert.